What's going on you guys? This is your boy Kale coming to you live and direct. Today we are going to be playing part three of Tell Me Why. And um, my first two videos, chapter one and chapter two, I did not have a webcam or a mic. So sorry for those videos for just being a straight up gameplay, but chapter three, we got this webcam and I want to check it out to make sure that it's pretty good. And I want to see how this game ends. Hope you guys are having a good day and hope you guys are ready to embark on this chapter three with me. I know it's a late upload. I know people have already beat the game, but I haven't. I haven't watched any spoilers on this game. So this will be me playing it and I am playing it on the Xbox One S. Without further ado, let's get into this gameplay. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Yeah, let's get to it. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused with so many unanswered questions and too many opened wounds. Like I said, I will be searching everything and looking at everything that I can, that I possibly can. I will not be talking over the dialogue in time. It's Allison, wake up. only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood
She looked just like her mama. You killed me. <laughs> you killed me! Chapter 3. You guys hear anything in the background? It is my furnace coming on and turn it off. I'm sitting by like this big vent. Hopefully it don't pick up in the mic. Try my hardest. Please don't pick up. <laughs> I did turn off the music in this game for copyright reasons. So I don't know if it's music playing in this section. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure it is since he didn't knock on the door. I bring me them pancakes back. Them look good. you throwing up oh no y'all leave it in the comment section if y'all can do that I can't put your head on the water no, I can't do that one I can drink water <laughs> put my head under there though Definitely can't do that. Icky, nah. I feel like I'm drowning. Okay. I will uh, be reading these to myself. If you guys want to read it, um, you guys can pause it and read it. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll He's right. Time to get my shit together. What else can I look at? What's these? I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. Sorry about that keep falling in my eye. The okay. What else can I look at? Looked at that, looked at that. Okay, look at these pictures. <sighs> I wonder if Eddie'll ever trust me again. I could use a Michael pep talk. That's it. All right. Let me walk around here and see if I can. What's this? Never could bring myself to send these. Whenever I tried to tell him how much I missed him, it felt unfair. Okay. I ain't gonna bore you guys with all this. I'm just gonna keep it going. Like I said, if you guys want to read it, you guys can pause it and check it out and see what it says. That's what I'm gonna do while I'm editing. I'm gonna read it as long as it ain't got no information in it. Hey, right, let's see. We got a painting. It was How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? 
I gotta think about something else. Just between us. Hey. Okay. Wish I could just book a one way ticket to the other side of the world. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. I love doing laundry. Love clean clothes. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. Anything else I can? That's it. That's all I can do in the bathroom. Looked at that. Looked at this. Get the pictures. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox or 12. Yes, you don't need no cigarettes, baby girl. Yeah, I think I did everything in the room. Oh, it's time to leave out of here. Dang, if I can get to the door. There we go. Anything over here? Nope. 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 Look at these. The days have gotten so short. It's going to be a long winter. Gonna be a long winter. Hey. 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 All right. Oh shoot! My bad. Look at these. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. It. Not going here. Oh, guess we just head downstairs. What the? I should probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. Okay, I guess we can't do nothing till we eat something. Oh, so, what's this? Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm about to look through these files. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Oh uh, yeah, I'm really gonna have to do some reading when I'm editing this. Shoot, I probably went too fast on that one. Go back. There we go. Okay. Right. I'm going here. Oh. See what else this is. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Fireweed. Okay. Was that? It reads something. That was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Okay, that's what it was saying, Reed. All right. 
see what else is in here. Bad. This is personal. But we still gonna read it. <laughs> Okay, go over here, see what this the is. Secret keeper in her secret keep. I'm not reading all that. Maybe there's something in the book of goblins that'll help me figure this out. Looks like this is coin operated. Haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. Okay, let me see if I can find a coin. Any coins in here? Already looked at all the lists. Already looked at all of that. Okay, let's see if I can find something in here. I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. But we are anyway, because I'm going to find a coin. How would you touch it? God, he better buy something new if he's actually got plans with this mysterious Claire person. No boots ahead. Okay, so this came out of there. Let's see what this He doesn't is. like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Okay. Alright. Back. See what else? Can I go in here? I really need to find a coin. To I need get to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. Hey, yeah, man. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Maybe if I make something for Dee, it'll help calm me down. Man, um... Nothing. How y'all doing with all this COVID? Hope y'all staying safe and staying clean. Make sure to watch, wash y'all hands and keep hand sanitizer. Okay. Hear me crab hot pot. All right. See. Okay. I can't really eat anything right now. What? I Here's teared the him. file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Well, now they know everything about me but my blood type. Okay. Ronan.
to whom it may concern in regards to her current told you I'm not gonna read it I'm gonna read it to myself I can't really eat anything right now I need to find a coin Eddie says there's a plant for every pain except heartache I don't mean Peppermint tea, ro wild rose tea, and ginger tea. That was pretty good. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Well, nobody liked the police station. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. Right. Okay. Boom, boom. Out a quarter. Let me open. Ah, here's my ID. Take. <sighs> this place is never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. I... Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Oh, no, no, no. We about to go take this quarter. Over here. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. We about to take this quarter in here. Okay, your dreams are own business. Okay. Let me go do this real quick. Make sure. Let me see what else I can do in here real quick. Let me do everything in here first. Then I'm going to go back to that coin room. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Okay. Do this book. A nice little drawing. Do anything over here? Uh, Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. Good, cause I don't need no copyright music in my stuff. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I bet you he missed that shot. That's like a lazy jump shot. Let's see what this is. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. Okay, so it looked like we got everything in here. Marianne, what's going on with you lately? If you need help... It's nothing. This is nothing. A secret keeper in her secret key. Insert coin. No way. It worked. I wonder why it needed a coin. What if I just...
packed a bag and left, and never looked back. That's what we all want to do right now with this COVID going around. We can't even do nothing. What I need to. You swore, Allison. Okay, focus. I'm still missing some things. Can I go out there and get that collectible? What am I missing? Hmm. Let me see. What am I missing? I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. This should be it. Here they are. Good. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know where else to look. Okay. I think I've got everything I need for the application. Okay. And I looked at everything. Where's Excuse that me. coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Is it in this bag? Phone's definitely not up here. Okay, so it's down. Got quieter. Is it over here? No, it's not upstairs at all, KO. So it gotta be downstairs. Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. The Mad Hunter. What's wrong with me? Oh my goodness. deal with you right now. God, where is it? doing here oh there we go hey D finally I was starting to get worried why didn't you pick up yeah uh, sorry I uh, I didn't have my phone on me okay well I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch uh, yeah of course I'm getting ready right now that's so because it kind of sounds like I woke you up that's just how I sound but anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or okay. it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. 
I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. I should try it again. Can we try it again? Me. I miss you, Pop. What is all these sounds? Uh. Oh. This. Okay. I ain't gonna bore y'all. I'm just keep it going and keep it pushing. Okay. Get out of there. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. Yeah. You know, like a good fishing trip. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve this is a totally different life. Oh man, let me you should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserved that. Okay, now let me do that this one. This is a totally different life. I turn it. That's weird. That big book only want two pictures. Eddie Listen. can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. There's all these noise. Noises. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. <sighs> I've got enough time to carve something for Dee. Yeah, let's make her something. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I used to take wood tech. Wood class in school. I forgot what it was called. I said wood tech. <laughs> but I used to do wood in school. Make little art projects and stuff. I remember that sound. Now she she did one cut and it's going to be uh, watch is going to be something real pretty watch. Be coloring it. You made that with one one swipe with the blade. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hey, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake. Since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? Hmm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with uh he's busy. I'm not gonna say we had a fight, it's none of his business. No, he's uh busy out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. 
It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I, I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up? What's up with him? Yeah, let's go with that. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tess are legitimately concerned. Plus, a uh, door-to-door -door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. Hey. You've been carving wood again? What? Oh, this. Yeah, I've been working on a gift for Dee. That's dope. Why do you get to be so crafty? I mean, I'm, I'm not that crafty. Marianne taught me most of it. Well, I'm impressed. These hands are good for nothing but cooking. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I, uh... I've been kind of freaking out on repeat today. What do you mean? It's hard to describe, but... I just can't calm down. You ever try any of that affirmation type shit? Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. That I'm a great person and my feelings are valid. <sighs> this will pass. I'm a great person. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but that's a good start. Allison, what's going on? He's a cool person. Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. So, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? I wanna see. Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. 
What's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell Michael about the memories. God, everything? My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and Eddie and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. Michael trying to put the moves on? Trying to wiggle? He must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you got to put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? I'm say they could work. Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Michael was trying to wiggle before they left. Didn't work, buddy. Didn't work. We're looking at her butt. <laughs> now I'm playing, y'all. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Because, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well, but here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. <laughs> okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. 